Now, we're about to meet a man who's made it his life's mission to make our world sound better. Julian Treasure. Please come in, Julian. Do sit down. <laughs> Julian, you're a sound expert. Mm -hmm. What sort of sounds, generally, do we humans like? Just think WWB, Martin. Okay. Wind, water, and I bet you can guess the third one. Uh, yeah, birds. The sounds that we've evolved to over hundreds of thousands of years. All stochastic, all composed of lots of individual elements, making a pleasing mixture. We find them all very easy and soothing. But why, why do they calm us down? Why does birdsong, what effect does it have on us? Well, we've learned that when the birds are singing, things are safe, I think, and it makes people feel very secure at a deep level. Also, birds are nature's alarm clock, so when the birds are singing, we feel alert. So it's a good state. It's a body-relaxed, mind-alert state. Right. So, combining those sounds, you have started to put natural sounds in your company in our world around us, haven't you? What sort of things have you been doing with them? Well, we've done some interesting things. <coughs> For example, uh, birdsong in toilets in service stations. Uh, nice. People may have come across that. Anyone Having heard a... that? <laughs> not Maybe yet. Not you will. You will. <laughs> Coming to a service station near you. Uh, they, you know, enclosed boxes of spaces. I mean, obviously it's nicer if we have real nature sound around us. I was in the Dolomites at the weekend. You couldn't hear a human sound at all. Heaven. But only 7% of the Earth's surface is not overflown now so human sound is around us all the time so, now i've heard in in duty freeze and I've, anyone heard suddenly being struck by odd yes, natural sounds and i've heard them at airports a lot <clears throat> so on now i understand that you you think you can manipulate us a little bit in shops with your sound well only in the sense that if you make a place sound pleasant then people tend to stay longer and if people stay longer in a shop, you know what they do. Spend, spend, spend. <laughs> I guess. I mean, actually, most of the time, the business we're in is, is kind of like stink removal. If, you, if this were smell, a lot of places really stink uh, for the ears. Right. You know, uh, we don't design for the ears at all. So architects and interior designers, they're all focused on what things look like. And we have to put up with places that sound terrible a lot of the time. So really, this is a message about designing for the ears. And yes, nature sound is a beautiful thing to put into spaces. Perhaps one of the most extraordinary things you did was you got some British bird sounds and other beautiful sounds and you put, well, let's just hear the sound first of all. Can we hear this? Feeling relaxed, folks? Perfect. Mm. Now, where did you put that sound and what were the, seem to be the effects, please? Well, that kind of sound has gone in two places. One was an airport where it relaxed people, because airports are stressful places, aren't they? The other one was a city called Lancaster in California, where we put it into a long central street at the request of the mayor. And according to the chief of police, crime has gone down 15% in that town. Now, it's not my number, it's their number, but if they're happy, I did go there recently, and the, all the storekeepers are incredibly happy. This is quite a barren place, it's in the Mojave, Mojave Desert. Yeah. There's no birds there. So we put in the sound of British birds, and it seems to have a wonderful calming effect on the center of this town. What a fabulous export. <laughs> yes. British birds. British birds. Calming crime in America. Exactly. Love it. Well, we'll be hearing a lot more of those sort of sounds, I think in our world, hopefully. I really way. hope so. I, I've, it's all about designing, for, not for the eyes, but for the ears. Fantastic. Yes, Thank you very much, Lydia. Thank you. Love it. Fabulous. I want some of that.